Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to install the Spider IDE, Integrated Development Environment. So we're going to be using Spider throughout the different videos that I'll post on this channel to write some programs. So in order to follow those, of course, you need to know how to install and use the Spider IDE. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm running this in a VM and it's running Windows 10. So if you're running Windows 10 or 11, this should look very similar. So all I'm going to do is open Microsoft Edge. And I'm gonna go ahead and browse over to Google. And of course you can follow along to install this yourself. So what I need to do here is type in spider, it's with a Y, S-P-Y-D-E-R, and an I-D-E. If you hit enter, you should see, and of course, you know, search results could differ for you, but you should see the link to the spider and then you'll see Python IDE. Of course, that could change if they change the website, depending on when you watch this video, but all we need to do is go ahead and click this. And of course, I'll include the link to this um, actual IDE in the description, so make sure you see that below. All right, now once you get to the site, uh, you know, web pages can change, right? So you might be watching this video and it might change a little bit, but essentially you want to download the version that you need. So in other words, if you're running Mac, you might need a version for Mac if you're running Linux or if you're running Windows. So typically they have a download option at the top. So you can click that menu option. If I go ahead and click that, as you notice, it detected what operating system I'm using. And of course, the version that's on it is for Windows 10 and above. So I'm going to go ahead and click on download for Windows 10 plus. And I just did that and the download starts. So I'll go ahead and open the folder here and I'll probably pause the video momentarily just because I'm sure you don't want to watch a file get downloaded. Uh, but make sure that you subscribe to this channel because I'm going to use this to show you how to code different things in Python. So it'll be quite a bit of fun and I encourage you to code along. So all the videos that I will make are meant for you to code along with me. I don't wanna just type code and have you watch. I want to actually see you code as I'm coding as well. And I'll pace it so that you can actually follow along. Because honestly, if you wanna learn how to code, the way to do it is to actually code. So, and that goes with any programming language, no matter whether it's Python, uh, C, Rust, I mean, you name it, whatever it is, to get good at it, you actually have to go ahead and code. And go ahead and download yours, and I'm gonna pause this for right now, and then I'll be right back when it's finished downloading, and then I'll show you the steps to install it, which are very, very easy. Now that the file has finished downloading it, you should see it in your downloads folder or wherever it is that you store your downloads. So all you have to do is go ahead and double click. But before I do that, I'm going to close my browser because I don't need that. And if you get a warning, you can click more info and you can click run anyway. Of course, make sure that you download it from the Spider IDE site that is in the link below to avoid getting any type of malware. If you see it on any other site, I wouldn't trust it. Make sure it comes from spider-ide.org. Okay, so once the setup begins, all you have to do is go ahead and click on next to start it. Of course, you it has an MIT license, so in order to finish the install, you have to agree. So I'm going to go ahead and click agree. And it's up to you. You can put just me or all users. In this case, I'll just click just me. Um, all users means that anyone who logs into your computer that you're installing it can use Spider. So if you're the only person using it, then maybe just me is recommended. Um, again, if you want 
everyone to use it, then you would select the second option. So in this case, I'm just going to leave it as just me. I'm going to click next. Now the destination folder, again, you can change it. I will leave the default. And of course it needs 838 megs of space. So make sure that you have sufficient space. And of course I'll get the shortcuts created and I'll clear the package cache and I'm going to go ahead and just click on install. So as you can see, steps are pretty easy and the install is fairly quick. And what we'll do next is once it's finished installing, I'll show you essentially how to run a Python program. And if you've never coded, it might be your first program, but we'll get to know the Spider IDE. And of course, in future videos, as we do more advanced things, you'll learn to use this editor even more. I do recognize that there are other editors out there, so you don't have to necessarily use Spider to follow along the future videos that I'll put out. You can use any editor of your choice, of course, um, but just for sake of simplicity, I'm using the Spider IDE. If you want to use VS Code or Charm or anything else, you can go ahead and use that and it'll work. And of course, there's the default Python IDE that you can use. So again, I'm just using Spider. Use whatever you'd like and what works best for you. Once the installer is complete, you'll get to this screen and at the very bottom you'll see completed. So all you have to do is go ahead and click on next. And of course you just wanna click on finish. And at that point, congratulations, you have installed Spider. Now, you might wanna delete the installer because it is 560 meg, totally up to you, but um, to clean up, you might wanna do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this window and let's go ahead and open Spider by double clicking it. All right, so first you'll see the splash screen and it will initialize and then we'll get into the environment where I will give you a quick run through on how to use this. And again, it, the nice thing is this is very, very easy to use and really a lot of the other editors uh, they have a similar look and you can of course customize this however you'd like as well. All right, that's it. Welcome, and of course there is a tour if you want. So for now, of course, I'll hit dismiss. And next what I'm going to do is walk you through writing a program and I'll show you a few different things in here and then you'll be set to follow the other videos or even write your own Python code. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is I'm going to just give you a gentle introduction. We're not going to really do a whole lot because in my other videos we'll do quite a bit more coding. However, I want to get you essentially familiar with this IDE. So you're in Spider, it's launched, and you see this window and down here is your console. So this is where you'll see the output of your programs. To the left is essentially the actual program itself. And if you notice right here, the editor creates initially a temp.python file. So if you create a new file, so let's click the create file, which is on the left up here. So I'm gonna click new file, and you'll see it right up here. It's untitled.py. Now I can go ahead and type some code, such as print, let's just do the classic hello world. Okay, so you've typed in your codes, and this is where we'll be working, so you'll type all your code over here. Now down here, this is again the console, so when I run it, and I can run it just over here by clicking the run file, you'll see the output of hello world, all right? Pretty cool, but now you might be saying, hey, this all this is a little bit in the way, and this, this is just another pane that has your help, variable explorers, debuggers, plots, and other items. So if you don't want to see these, what you can do is go up to view, go over here to panes, and of course we want the editor, which is where we're typing our code. We want the console, which is below where we see the output, but maybe we don't want to see the variable explorer right now. And if I go to view, panes, Let's uncheck the debugger, and you see that these are starting to minimize. Up to view again. 
panes and let's uncheck the help and then of course there's plots and files so I'll uncheck those as well and the reason I'm doing that is I want to really see my console more than anything and uncheck the files which is right here there we go so now essentially we have our code and what the output is so if we go down here we say let's say e, a equals 50 b equals 100 and if i go print a plus b well if i run that over here i should see 150 and there it is below okay now let's say you're done with your program and you want to save it you can click the save icon which is the disk icon and I'll just put this on my desktop, but of course, whatever folder, you want to give it a name. So I'm going to call this first.py and hit save. Okay, so what we've done is we've created the code, we've saved it. Now, let's say we want to open it. So I'm going to go ahead and close the file. Okay, so all you have to do to open it is go over here to the open icon navigate to where we saved it which in this case I put it on the desktop select the name of the program that you want to open go ahead and just click open and there it is it's that easy and of course if you want to run it you can just click on the run now let's say you want to reset this so there's all this output and you're like oh this is a little confusing what you can do is restart the kernel so if you click on the menu over here with the three bars, so click on that, click on restart kernel, and it'll ask you, are you sure you want to reset it? Go ahead and click on yes. And what you'll see is that it's restarting the kernel, which means all the code that you ran that's being interpreted is cleared out and you get a fresh console. Okay, so of course you know how to save files you know how to open them you know how to edit and of course over here you can even resize a little bit so just depending on what we're coding we'll mess with that but that's really it it's, it's fairly simple and of course it has a lot more that it can do but again you'll learn that as we go forward but this is just an easy introduction so we've installed spider you've learned how to make the view change a little bit you learned and maybe even written your first program you have saved it we've closed it we've opened it so that's it these are the initial basics to using this IDE so going forward I'll reference this video if you don't have it installed otherwise most of the videos that I will create will use this IDE if it's not I'll let you know and I'll create a video if I'm using something different but I suspect that Probably 99% of the videos I'll make will be using this Spider IDE. All right, so thank you, and I hope this was helpful. And again, make sure that you subscribe to my channel because you're going to want to code along with me and learn Python. Or if you're looking for projects, I'll have some really fun projects that you'll be able to actually follow along and code yourself. All right, we'll see you in the next videos. Thank you.